Let's try Jaritos. Jaritos is a popular soft drink in Mexico. Tamarind. At first, it was a bit weird, but the more I drink it, I'm starting to like it. And I've noticed Mexicans like to use tamarind in a lot of different sweets and candies. And I'm not really used to that. The only time I really eat tamarind is in a tamarind chutney. It kind of reminds me of ginger ale. 8.9 out of 10. Pineapple. Nothing special. It just tastes like any other pineapple drink. 7.2 out of 10. Hibiscus. Now hibiscus is a type of flower. It's almost like a cranberry soda. I like it. 8.4 out of 10. Guava. Mm. I haven't had guava in a long time. And same with guava juice. Like mango juice and guava juice, for some reason, they're always in the same aisle. But I always go for mango. And for those who haven't tasted guava before, it's almost like a pear. It's a bit floral. 8.2 out of 10. Here's how you can make raspberry lime kulfi. I gotta wait 7 more hours. Kulfi is basically like ice cream and it's a very popular frozen dessert in Pakistan. You know it's my cheat day. In a large pan, let's add whole milk, milk powder, and swing condensed milk. Let this reduce on low to medium heat for about 45 minutes until it gets pretty thick. In a separate pan, let's add raspberries, a big squeeze of lime juice, and a splash of water, along with a whole bunch of sugar. Bring this up to a boil and then let it cook down on medium heat until it gets to a jam-like consistency. Now you can add dollops of your raspberry jam into the kulfi mixture and the consistency should be pretty thick. Now at the bottom of your mold or any freezable container, add more dollops of your raspberry jam and then fill it up with kulfi. Have this frozen for at least 8 hours. Enjoy. Here's how you can make fruit chaat. So disclaimer, this isn't my favorite, but fruit chaat is always one of those dishes that is on the table whenever you're breaking your fast out of thought. And it's basically a mix of your favorite fruits all chopped up together with a splash of orange juice and chaat masala. And if you don't know what chaat masala is, it's a spice mix that has mango powder, black salt, dried fenugreek leaves, garam masala, chili powder, carom seeds, and cumin seeds. And that's all blended up together and sprinkled on top. So Mexico has tahini. Pakistan has chaat masala. You can put this on so many different fruits and a lot of different dishes as well. But honestly, I prefer to eat the fruits by themselves than have them all mangled together with chaat masala and orange juice. I mean like I'll eat it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to make this. Or if I see it on the dinner table, I'll probably grab something else. Rovza with water or milk. I'm gonna give you my take on it. Let me know if you agree or disagree. It's great with water only if it's really hot outside and you're sweating and you need something to drink. I find it hits the spot perfectly. And it's also good if you can add some basil seeds, lime juice, some mint, and it's a wicked drink. The only time I'm really drinking it with milk is after I break my fast. For some reason, after I eat that date, drinking a cold glass of Rovza with milk just hits different. I don't know why. Other than that, it's water all the way. So for those who don't know, Rovza is basically concentrated rose syrup and it's super sweet, floral, and it's mainly used as a syrup for a drink. All you have to do is pour a little bit at the bottom of your glass and then mix in water or milk. So let me know if you prefer. Here's how you can make my go-to morning smoothie. It's 5 a.m., I'm preparing for my fast and I don't want to do any cooking. In a blender, I'm adding a banana, dates, make sure you remove the seeds, plain yogurt, and instead of ice, I like using frozen berries, peanut butter, raw honey, and your favorite protein powder. Now, a lot of people may not like this, but I like using water instead of milk. I find milk in this smoothie gets way too thick and water gets the right consistency. And that's pretty much it. Let's try Korean fire noodle chips. It smells kind of like their noodles. So they basically made Korean fire noodles into chips. So let's see how close this is to an actual bowl of Korean fire noodles. It's not bad. It has a bit of sweetness to it and spice. So I'm tasting that hot packet sauce. I am tasting the noodles. It's basically the same bowl with a crunch and a little bit of sweetness. I would give this a 7.9 out of 10. Here's how you can make special sentient sandwich from Adventure Time. Sorry. Fine aged cheddar man. Homemade ketchup. A fresh pepper part. This parsley. Face bread. 
Amongst the fruit that the Prophet of Islam loved to eat were figs. So here's a fig jam recipe you could do in Ramadan. It's 4 a.m. and the last thing I want to do is make a huge meal, especially if it's breakfast or if you're just trying to prepare for your fast. And you can easily incorporate this into your morning meals. Just make it once and then have it in the fridge for at least a week. And it's really simple to make. All I did was grab some figs and I chopped it up into four pieces. I added that into a pot with a whole bunch of sugar, lemon juice, and a splash of water. Then I brought it up to a boil and let it simmer for about a half an hour to 45 minutes until it got really thick. If you want, you can blend it to make it a bit more smoother or you can just leave it chunky. I chose to blend it and that's how you make fig jam. My favorite kulfi flavor so far. First up we have Bounty and for those who don't know Bounty is a combination of coconut and chocolate. Unlike mint and chocolate this actually tastes good. It tasted almost exactly like a Bounty bar. This is gonna be S tier. Next we have Almond and Almond is an OG flavor. I'm surprised I didn't make this sooner. I did make Pistachio which is another OG flavor. Pistachio is A tier. I'm gonna put Almond at B tier. Then we have Butterscotch and I guess we added another milk ingredient to this kulfi. We added brown butter and that tasted really good mm, it was good but it wasn't great i'm gonna put this at b next we have fruit loops and i was super disappointed that fruit loops took away their artificial colors and also the color blue everything just looks so dull and boring the fruit loops got soggy and then i froze it and then it just tasted weird this is c Lastly, we have Golden Oreo, and we did Original Oreo, which is A tier. This is not better than the original, so this is also B tier. Let's try unique Kit Kat flavors. Cheesecake. Smells like cream cheese. Mmm, kind of disappointed. It's not really like cheesecake. It reminds me more of white chocolate. It tastes good, but if I had to rate this on a scale of how close it is to the actual flavor that's advertised, this is a 4.1 out of 10. Melon. This smells like a cantaloupe. That's nice. It tastes like one of those watermelon candies. 8.2 out of 10. Milk tea. I don't know what that smells like. I'm hoping this tastes like chai. It tastes a bit bitter. Mmm, not really like chai. I can kind of get a hint of it. It's like if somebody made chai really badly, it would taste like this. 5.4 out of 10. Strawberry. It smells like strawberry Nesquik. I know this one's gonna be good. It's exactly like strawberry Nesquik. You can't go wrong with that flavor. 8.7 out of 10. Here's how you can make Together Breakfast from Steven Universe. It's done! Oh, I 